Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna continue working on 2015 Dodge Ram 3500 that I'm rebuilding for my subscriber. And few things that I'm missing: motor mount, uh, oh, motor mount, motor window motor for the passenger side, front door, and also any defender liner for bed uh, driver side. I'm gonna go to the wrecking yard pick those parts hopefully they will have it come back home install it and also on the way back home i'm gonna stop by at napa we'll pick up all the oils that i need for the engine transmission transfer case and the axles so it's the next day guys it took me all day not the all day rest of the day to go over and pick up the oils i stopped by at the napa and napa only had the engine oil transmission oil transfer case and the axles oil i had to stop by at the dealer because this is some kind of special uh 7585 synthetic axle lubricant and the napa doesn't have it or any other stores and plus napa didn't have the transfer case oil so i had to buy it from a dealer also and then i purchased the motor from a junkyard braking yard and also the engine um, oil filter and the two fuel filters that goes under the hood and i believe i spent <laughs> right around 500 dollars on just oils that's that's insane i did the service on my truck but honestly i don't remember so the dealer I left uh, $278 and at Napa I left $190 and at the wrecking yard $132 so 600 bucks for a few little things but now I have everything to do the service on the truck hopefully everything gonna go smooth I have a fender liner I have a motor so today the truck gonna be fully complete and also I have a really nice set of the oh, light bulbs I'm gonna go over with you guys later now let's grab all this let's go in the garage and start changing all this oil <laughs> Yeah, it's Bella. Let's go. Let's go. Get in. All right, guys. First thing I'm gonna do is install this motor. But before I can install it, let's check it and see if the motor was the problem and not something else. Okay, it is hooked up. Let's turn the power on. Power is on. Yep, the motor works. So that's good. That's it, I'm done with the door. Everything works, everything looks good. Now what I wanted to do is check out the intake. What's wrong with the intake? See if it's uh, full of dirt or not. Guys, it looks like really dirty. What I'm gonna have to do, unscrew these four screws, take the filter out and check how clogged up it is. I'm done with the filter, clean up this uh, cover. Now you can clearly see what's underneath there. 
Now let's jump in on this headlight and wire up the C light on both sides. Okay, I found this kind of plug that's going to be working for the C light. Now let's open this up and see where it needs to be connected. Okay guys, as you can see, I got it from the first one, so this is the black one, of course, so it will go to the black, and this is the running light. If I'll switch to this one, it's gonna be flushing, so now let's uh, open those two wires, the white with red and black, attach uh, these two wires over there, uh, solder it and put the electrical tape in order to be completely done with this uh, headlight only one thing this headlight missing is led bulbs and huge shout out to bosla led lights they were kind enough to send this package to me i really like their uh, bulbs i already used it on my dodge they're super bright really good quality i actually run those bulbs for over over two years they work awesome this is their new design uh, i have the previous generation which has worked just fine have no issue with them this is the uh, new generation and i think they're gonna be way better than previous generation also those uh, bulbs can change the color when you turn off your lights and turn back on, it'll go to the yellow lights. That's good on a foggy or rainy day. And if you turn it off and turn it back on, it'll go back to the uh, normal light. They're super bright. I really like them. Let's open them up and see what's inside. So this is the package. Really nice package. I like it. So you get this uh, production manual and two small lights you can see really compact I really like it that is really compact and you can basically put it anywhere and also the previous generation was a little uh, the bulb little too big so it wasn't fitting my housing on the Dodge but I made it fit but this one you can see how small it is compared to the old one and you can see this uh, really good uh, quality the cable wrapping here's the fan that cool uh, keep them cooled now let's install them on the headlight and see how they work the only sad thing i have right now so you can see this light this is the low beam and it's actually offset from the housing and you can see where the housing it is so it won't fit over here but if we, if it would be in the middle you can see you can easily install it and it won't it will fit in the housing i guess i will try them on my truck on my personal truck i guess i'll take those ones uh, that i purchased few years back i will take them out because they're too big and I can use this one and this one should be a lot brighter than the ones I got but now I just want to hook it up uh, to the truck to show you guys how they work and how the lighting is uh, looking now let's turn the, head, the low beam and see how bright they are wow oh man they are super super bright see how bright they are <laughs> this is insane let me turn off the lights in the shop between this light over here and this light over here let's uh, point it towards the wall man this is this is hella bright look how lights out 
So if I'll do this, like this, see the difference between the, the stock light H1 and this, super bright. Now let's turn off the light and it should switch to the yellow. There you go. Now it's a yellow light, which is really good for raining rainy or foggy day man that sucks i can't install them on those headlights but i will definitely show you guys difference between the ones i have on my truck and these ones it really sucks that i can't use this bulb and that headlight as you guys saw the housing offset nothing i can do about it if you want those super bright led lights go to boslo.com and you can choose there any bulb uh, size or bulb number that you need for your vehicle. They currently on sale. Plus they were kind enough to provide the discount code for you guys, extra $10 off. If you type in SMV10, you'll save extra $10 on any of those LED bulbs that actually for sale on their website. Now let's continue with this headlight without the LED light of course which is sucks but nothing I can do at this moment or at this point. Let's hook up this headlight and put it back where it belongs. That's it, I'm done with bolt headlights. Now let's jump in on the oil changes. First, where I wanted to change the oil is the engine. I'm done replacing oil in the engine. Now let's get to the training and transfer case. Okay, six quarts in level now let's jump in on the transfer case i'm done replacing oil in the transfer case now let's jump in on this front axle and replace oil in it I'm done replacing oil in the front axle. It looks like it was a little bit with the water. I don't know, it probably some of the seals are bad and the water got in, but this taken care of. Now let's go to the back axle and repeat the process.
next day here guys yesterday i finished uh, changing oil everywhere front axle rear axle transfer case uh, tranny engine uh, and i'm done with the oil changes now what i wanted to do and last thing i left to do is swap out those uh, fuel filters and that's gonna be it for the service and then i'm gonna jump in on this front bumper that i need to take care of this two tubes That fuel filter over there has been replaced. And if you're doing service to your own Dodge truck, I would recommend to get the fuel filters from uh, Dodge dealer. Cause first of all, it's cheaper. And second of all, honestly, I think their fuel filter is better compared to Napa one. And it doesn't have as much filtration as the uh, OEM one have I don't know it's a uh, it's up to you either you want to go with the Napa or you want to go with the dealer but for two of those fuel filters I believe that pay $140 one is uh, $40 and another is 70 or 1670 I don't remember exactly how much it is I'll take a look at the receipt but again it's my price it's a shop price uh, and Napa uh, fuel filters one is uh, 105 or 115 and second one is like 75 or 85 something like that but I always uh, replace fuel filters on my truck with the OEM the directly from a dealer I'll, I trust their filters better than to aftermarket filters or any other filters that's available out there and second of all it's cheaper for me i don't know what's if it's gonna be cheaper for you guys or not i'm gonna have to pull out the receipt and see but i'm done with the service completely now let's jump in on this bumper and cut out this brace over here same thing on the other side and weld those holes That's it, this side is complete. Let's check it out, how's it look? Let's get this cardboard out. And there you go. <laughs> Looks pretty cool actually. I don't know, I have mixed feelings. I kinda like it and I kinda don't. I don't know. kind of look pretty cool anyway let's leave it alone for now let's come over this side and repeat the process cut this brace out That's it and I'm done with this side, now let's throw the grill back, uh, fender liners on both sides and fender liner on the bed. And that should be it for this rebuild, I'll be completely done.
and just like that I'm done with this rebuild so the truck is fully complete now I need to uh, get the razor blade get those numbers out and let's go to the car wash and wash this beast sorry guys uh, that is windy slightly but nothing I can do about it so this truck is completely done 100% it's finished let me go around it and show you how's it look before I drop it off to the customer this is it that's how it looks without those tubes on the side looks good That's it guys, this is it, it's gonna be wrap for today's episode, thank you guys for stopping by, if you liked the video press get, please give me thumbs up and also share this video with your friends and family and also if you want to see the inside scoop before YouTube follow me on Instagram at salvagemastervy, thank you for stopping by, I'll catch you next rebuild.